for our application specific application which one we need mcb or mccb okay most of the guys has this doubt so today i'm going to break down about this basically you know both of these mcb and mccb are over current protection devices which means whenever the current increases on our system that means more than the rated current of this mcb or mccb then the circuit will trip and protect our circuit that is the basic function both of these mcb and mccb works on the same principle on both of these devices there are two tripping mechanisms the first one is this thermal tripping and the second one is this magnetic tripping see this thermal tripping as the name indicates it is related to the heating here whenever the current increases more than the rated current of this particular mcb or mccb for example if the mcb is rated or mccb is rated for a 32 ampere and if the current is more than this 32 okay at this time which means if 33 ampere or 34 ampere just like that then the uh, bimetallic strip inside these uh, devices will heat it up due to this over current and you know after a specific time it will bend and circuit will be opened through this it will protect our circuit you know even when the circuit current is 32 ampere for a 32 ampere circuit breaker uh, after a long period maybe after 30 minutes or 45 minutes uh, the bimetallic strip will bend and it will break the circuit whenever the current is more then the tripping time will be less and whenever the current is less the tripping time will be more second tripping is the magnetic tripping you know, uh, inside of this MCB or MCCB, there is a coil. Hmm? This coil will be actuated due to the high current. The high current means the current which is in kilo ampere or maybe six or seven times of the uh, MCB or MCCB's rated current. Okay, you know, at this time, the coil will be actuated and under the principle of electromagnetic induction, this coil will become a magnet and it will pull the uh, contacts and the circuit will be opened you know this magnetic tripping will be actuated by the two types of currents the short circuit current and short time current the short circuit current you know whenever there is a short circuit in the circuit high current which is in kilo amps will be flow in the circuit you know the short circuit will happen when uh, the phase touches the neutral or the phase touches the earth that time the circuit will trip and protect the circuit but the short time current is entirely different from the short circuit current whenever any appliance or equipment which is working under the principle of electromagnetic induction at the starting time this appliance will produce a high inrush current in the circuit because of this inrush current the mcb or mccb should not be tripped because it is a general thing that the high inrush current will be happen on the circuit okay and it will be in the circuit only for a few seconds but sometimes uh, this inrush current will be more than the expected that time we need to trip the circuit in both of these mcb or mccb we can't um, set up this short circuit current it is automatic okay but we can adjust this short time current only in mccb in mcb this short time current depends upon the curves of mcb means uh, i think you may be heard about the bcd curves of the mcb for our application which one we need to select mcb or mccb first factor we need to consider is the current the mcb is available from 0.5 to 63 ampere range okay and the mccb is available from 25 to 630 ampere range second thing we need to consider about the short circuit rating of the mcb or mccb the mcb is available from 3 to 10 kilo ampere range but the mccb is available from a higher range that is 10 to 100 kilo ampere the next factor is the voltage you know both of these devices are low voltage devices means from 220 to 600 voltage ac next factor is the number of poles you know both these mcb and mccb are available on single pole double pole three pole and the four pole okay the single pole and two pole are only applicable to the single phase circuits but the three pole and four pole are for the three phases and the next one is the applications for what application we need to consider this mcb or mccb see the mcb is going to consider for this domestic or commercial or industrial purposes no problem okay but in the case of mccb 
uh, we generally use only for this commercial and for industrial purposes but if you want to install an mccb on your home then there's no problem because you know it's available on the range from 25 to 630 amps of the main thing is it is a little bit costly okay so we generally use on only on these two platforms commercial and industrial the commercial means very big office buildings and industrial you know it is industries big manufacturing companies just like that now i'm going to discuss with you about some different cases suppose in our circuit the current is 10 ampere so on this situation uh, which could be selected mcb or mccb see i already told you the mcb is available from 0.5 to 63 amps okay so the 10 ampere means it is under this range and on the mccb there is no any 10 ampere range okay so here we are forced to select an mcb for this application second case is when the current is 150 ampere the mcb is available only up to 63 amps here the current is 150 ampere so this 150 ampere is comes under the range of this 25 to 630 amps okay so at this situation we are forced to select an mccb for our application okay the next case is if the current of the circuit is 32 ampere okay on this situation see the mcb is available uh, from 0.5 to 63 amps so 32 ampere is available and here also 32 ampere is available okay so on this stage we could select both this mcb or mccb no any problem and the next factor you need to consider is the short circuit current of them if on your system if the short circuit current is less than 10 kilo ampere means c for the mcb the short circuit current available between 3 to 10 kilo ampere then okay. you could select the mcb for your application okay but if the short circuit current is more than 10 kilo ampere that means for the mccb range so on that situation you could select only the mccb but if there is a situation at which the short circuit current is equal to 10 kilo ampere then you have two choices see here for the mcb also 10 kilo ampere is available and here for the mccb also 10 kilo ampere is available so which one will you select it depends upon your budget if you have enough budget then you could select the mccb for your application if not you just select the mcb okay suppose in this application if you need uh, adjustable settings then you must select an mccb for this application uh, the adjustable settings means you could adjust the current settings and the uh, short time current settings on the device but on the mcb there is no any adjustable settings okay here it is completely automatic some companies offering a dial pad on the top of the mccb and by making change of this dial pad you could select the different current whatever you want and some companies offering a series of knobs like this okay and when you change these uh, knobs to up or down then you could select the different current ratings for your application suppose in the same application if you need extra features on your circuit then you should select this mccb because it only offers the extra features just like the over frequency protection under frequency protection just like that but in mcb there is no any uh, extra features just like that so i hope you understand very well about this tutorial if so please like and share this video if you watch this on the facebook please like this page or be a follower of me and if you watch this video on youtube don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon thanks for watching